hello. I want to see if this mic works. I'm assuming it's recording. Okay. Today is my baby shower that I have no part in whatsoever. We're just gonna hang out and I don't know. <laughs> I'm so out of the loop, guys. You've no idea. I know, I know kind of who's going to an extent, but I don't know what's going on. So I asked you guys on Instagram for some questions and you guys have killed it. You guys come through the questions, but yeah, we're gonna get started with this get ready with me slash q and I've got my questions on my phone. I will put down below all the products that I use today just in case I don't say it because I might be too busy answering questions. Oh, she's gonna join. Here she is. Because she's like, oh, what's all this stuff I can chew on? Can say hi? Say hi. Okay, 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 let's get started. I'm just gonna do my skincare real quick before I start answering any questions. And some lip balm is, we all know, love this stuff. So starting off, pretty simple, is do we know the gender and do we have any baby names? You do know the gender. And I don't think I've actually announced it. I've said it in like videos. I've not been keeping it a secret or anything, but I don't think I've actually fully announced it. Like, ugh. We're having a, we are having a boy. I was like going backwards and forwards whether I wanted to even know, cause I love the idea of finding out when the baby's born. Maybe the, maybe the next one, maybe the next one. Um, as for names, boy names, cause I was, I've always been so set on girls, even though I, it's like 50, 50 what you get. I find girl names so much easier to settle on. Boy names, they're so difficult. Why is it so difficult to think of names for? And so we don't really have a name. We have like ideas. We don't know. And I just keep saying to my boyfriend, like we really need to suss out his name. Next question. Are you planning to use an epidural, bath or go all natural. Are you nervous about the process? Heck yeah, I'm nervous. I don't think it's a bad thing to be nervous, especially when it's your first time going through this. Like, it's a big deal. It's a thing, it's a huge thing for your body to go through. I'm nervous about, I'm I try not to think about what could happen, the bad stuff that could happen, because the likelihood of that happening is, I get it, very unlikely. But yeah, of course I'm nervous. It's like you don't know your pain threshold for that. And then it's afterwards as well. After when you're trying to recover, you've also got a baby to then look after. And it's I'm also quite nervous about that life transition. And as for the birth itself and like our plans, I want to try and do as natural as possible. Like we're very open-minded. We get like the birth plan isn't actually a plan. It's kind of like more like your preferences because you just don't know what's going to happen. So I want to try to do it as naturally as possible with like just gas and air. The epidural, I only want if I absolutely cannot stand the pain anymore. But I'd prefer not to have it if I'm honest. And that's just because, because you can't feel anything down there. So like you're more likely to need an assisted an assisted birth with like forceps or the suction cup or whatever. I'd rather not have to have that, but if the pain's that great and I'm just so fed up of it and I just I don't care anymore, I will go for it. Like I'm not against the epidural whatsoever. And we have no plans for a C-section and he is head down in prime position and he's been like that for a while now, so he shouldn't move. He shouldn't be in breach or anything. How do you overcome anxieties during pregnancy? Um. I'm trying to like think back if I've had any particular anxieties. Maybe like right at the beginning, before that whole stage of, you know, before 24 weeks, you're more likely to have a miscarriage. And, and that's why we didn't tell anybody. I think the only people that we told was my best friend, my boyfriend's family, because we were living with them at the time, and then told my dad. So yeah, but the help process. What was the question? What, did I talk, what am I meant to be talking about? How do you overcome anxieties? I think just not try not to think about it too much. That's your worst nightmare and your worst enemy is overthinking and then like Googling if there's nothing to worry about and just listen to your, your midwife. And they won't hide anything from you. You know, they'll let you know anything that is worth the worry. Be vocal. You don't want to have to go through this by yourself. Okay, are you planning on breastfeeding or bottle fed, bottle feeding? We are actually, again, this is me being so open about what's going to happen. We're doing both. We're going to 
we're gonna mainly be breastfeeding and then I will, I want to like extract and have like a store of milk. And then that means my boyfriend can, what's the word? Like be part, like develop a relationship with the baby through feeding. Cause normally, obviously if you're just breastfeeding, that's only the mum's job. But if I can extract and then bottle feed him that way, my boyfriend can develop a relationship with the baby as well as like my my dad if he wants to my boyfriend's mum and dad if they want to they're able to also feed him i've actually done this makeup very fast considering i'm also meant to be doing questions at the same time okay next one what has been your favorite and least favorite part of pregnancy least favorite part there's a few i feel like like the sickness at the beginning one fab and then like the third trimester working wasn't fab because my job was i'd be on my feet for eight hours at a time and oh well, man that hurt it, she's got a squeak toy and like i hate feeling like uh i hate feeling like useless and i felt like a lot of people at my work were having to pick up after me or pick up more work because i weren't able to do it like i couldn't i can't lift up heavy things i can't do this and i have to, I have to sit down and they have to do a lot of the light work like i don't like feeling useless and i think when you get heavily pregnant you do have to kind of be like ask for a lot more help and i very much just do it myself and favorite part feeling of baby is is kind of cool. It's weird at the same time. There's another question talking about that, which I'll go into next, but being able to feel your baby inside you, mental. Okay, that's my makeup pretty much done. So I've only got three more questions to answer, but I thought I would answer them when I show you what I'm wearing. Cause I'm not wearing this, I'm wearing Something blue because I'm having a boy. I will go get changed now and I'll show you what I'm wearing and answer those last three questions for you guys. So kind of like going on from what I was talking about in our last in the last question. And um, does it hurt when baby moves? To be honest, 86% of the time, no, it doesn't hurt. It just kind of feels really weird when it's shimmying around. Um but sometimes he will kick and the way he's lying, he's lying head right down and then curved like to the left. So his feet are on my right rib and he's been on my right rib for months now. I don't think he's moved much. I always feel the kicking on my right hand side and my right rib and it's, it's when he kicks the ribs. <sighs> but you get over it really quickly. It's nothing to, it's nothing to like cry about or be like, oh my God, I'm in pain. I need to take me to the hospital. Blah, blah, blah. It doesn't hurt. It's just uncomfortable. Uncomfortable is the word um, when it comes to pregnancy. So yeah, this is the outfit in all its glory. I've got like a dress that has like a bit of a slit for sexy photos. And for shoes, I'm just gonna be wearing these New Balance trainers because i've got nothing better and then jewelry wise i've got some pearlies pearls got pearl necklace pearl earrings and that is her she's ready for her baby shower so yeah that's the outfit it's my get ready um and whilst we're here in the sun basking in its glory i'll do i thought i would do the final two questions like, what, what, what was your favorite trimester? To be honest, each one has had its struggle. Obviously the first trimester, you're like sick. If I don't eat fast enough in the morning, I'm sick. If I eat too much, I'm sick. Some things I can't eat makes me sick. Like the whole sickness thing, the first trimester, not fun. Second trimester, I was kind of going through it mentally. The sickness was still there. I hadn't really got over the sickness for most of the sec second trimester. But I would say the third trimester has probably been the best one because it's when it gets rolling, you're like, oh, you start to get everything and you're like, oh God, baby moves. Like, you look pregnant, even though the third trimester brings its scares and the, the unknown is right at your doorstep. I think it's probably, 
is the best trimester, at least for me in this pregnancy, it's been the best trimester. And then the last question is whether we plan on having any more babies. And the answer is yes, we would like to have more. I would obviously like to try and have a girl, but I've always liked the idea of having three kids. And I just feel like when stuff happens in life, it's nice to have another person to kind of fall back on. That's my brother or that's my sister and whatever happens, we'll be together type thing. So I've always liked that idea. We were thinking like maybe two year age gap is a pretty good age gap. So that is the question. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this microphone works. I'm, this is the first time I'm trying it. It's a DJI one that came with like that little Osmo. I'll talk to you next week. I hope you guys have a fab week ahead of you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Lost in the city lights